Hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It's time to get started on our Vasily Kandinsky inspired artwork. Now, remember in the first video, I talked about how we are going to be using our primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and our secondary colors, green, green, orange, and purple. Okay, so go ahead and get those colors out. I said you could use any material you wanted for coloring. I'm going to be using oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, that is A-OK, -okay, y'all. Y'all can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. Anything you have to color with is fine. Just make sure you have your primary colors and your secondary colors, OK? Let's get started. So take your paper. I want you to fold it like a book. OK? So now your paper's folded in half. And then again, I want you to take your paper and we're going to fold it in half again. So another fold. So now we have a mini book. Okay. So once you have it folded, you open it up and now we have four what? What shapes did we create? Four squares. There we go, and in those squares, we are going to make our circles like Kandinsky. Remember, we're focusing with our primary and secondary. So first off, we're going to start with our primary colors. So what you need right now, your blue, red, and yellow, okay? I'm going to start with a red circle. And then I'm gonna to move to my next color, blue. And I'm just gonna go around that circle. And I, I really enjoy using oil pastels. If you have any time, you should go try to pick you some up because they are my favorite material to use. And then my yellow. Again, just creating another circle. And with oil pastels, they, they, can, they tend to be a little messy and I like that. So I have a little bit of blue showing up now, my yellow, and I think that looks really cool. For some reason, I like my artwork to look messy. I don't know why. Good craftsmanship, but also messy. So I still have some more room. You can follow along with me, or you can create your own, different, use different colors. I'm going to use red again, and just continue like a pattern. So I'm gonna do red, blue, and yellow again. But if you want to, you can change it up and do blue, red, or you can do red, yellow, it's up to you. I'm gonna just stick with kind of a pattern though. Okay. Okay, so I'm still just working in my first square. Cause I'm gonna have one here and then I'm gonna create another circle here, another circle here, another circle here. And I just, we folded our paper so it was easier and we could have everything the same size. Cause if you look at his work, each square is the same size and in the square he has his circles. So that's how we folded our paper. Uh oh. Almost done with focusing on my primary colors. And lastly, my yellow. And fill in the rest of this. 
square that we've created by folding our paper. All right, our first square is done. Now, put your primaries to the side. We're gonna use our secondary colors now, okay? So, get your orange, your purple, and your green, and let's get started. I'm going to start with my purple. And I'm moving to my next square that I created. And then my green. And then my other secondary color, orange. Now if I mix my primaries together to create orange, what two colors do I have to mix together? Remember our song? You have to mix red and yellow to make our secondary color orange. If you want to make green, you have to mix two primary colors together. Which ones? Blue and yellow. That makes green. And if you want to make purple, you have to mix the two primary colors. What? Which ones? Blue and red. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat, starting with my green. There we go. I'm almost finished with my secondary square slash circles. <laughs> Which ones do you like better together? Do you like the, the primary colors together or do you like how the secondary colors look together? I personally have always liked how the primary colors look together. But if you put them, the primary and the secondary colors all together, that's beautiful and you can create a rainbow. Because then you have all the colors. Okay, so we are almost finished with our second square, and we got two squares left. All right, now lastly, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my primary colors and do them here again, and I'm gonna take my secondary colors and do them here again, okay? So let's get our primaries, and I'm gonna switch it up. I don't wanna start with red this time. I'm gonna start with yellow. Got my yellow circle, and then I'm gonna go around it with the red. I want it to look a little different from the other one, but I'm still using my primary colors. My blue. And then start back over with my yellow. <coughs> and then I'm going to end it using my red. All right. 
right, we only got one more square left, y'all. I hope you guys are having fun using your primary and secondary colors and splitting them up into different groups. Okay, now, lastly, our secondary colors once again, green, purple, and orange, and let's do our last circle. And I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna start with orange this time, all right? Because I did purple for the first one. I don't want it to look a little different. So I'm gonna do orange, and then let's do the purple. And then our green. And if I'm doing a pattern, y'all, I have orange, purple, green, and I'm gonna go back to orange, and then purple, and then green, and keep repeating orange, purple, green, orange, purple, green, until my whole square is filled up. Broke my oil pastel. That happens. Okay, and lastly, purple. I might have a little bit more room. What do y'all think? Should I do it? I should probably do the uh, green one more time because that's going to be a big amount of purple on my paper. Okay, and our last color, green. All right, y'all, what do you think? Did it turn out cool? I think it looks awesome. So, I hope you enjoyed focusing on using your primary colors and your secondary colors for this art project, art project and learning about Vasily Kandinsky and his circles. I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.